In this video, we have an equation to solve. So we have to solve for x. So we've got negative 1 over 64 to the power 1 over 3 plus the square root of 81 over 144. And that's equal to the third root of x. So we have to solve for this x here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take any radical expressions and convert them to exponential form, convert them to this form. So this negative 1 over 64, what you want to do, if you remember I mentioned this in previous videos, is you want to take this negative if it's in front and either put it in the numerator or the denominator. I like to put it in the numerator. So I'm going to put negative 1 over 64. And this is going to be to the power 1 over 3. Plus here, I'm going to have 81 over 144 all to the power of 1 over 2. Right? If there's a square root here, there's like an imaginary 2 there. And then the third root of x, that's like x to the power of 1 over 3. All right? If you remember the law, the uh, x to the root of anything is just that to the power of 1 over x. So that's the rule that I use to convert both of these forms to exponential form. And then from here, let's just work with this left side. So we would have, um, what we can do is we could distribute this exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So we'd have negative 1 in brackets, make sure you put that in brackets there, to the power of 1 over 3, all over 64 to the power of 1 over 3. And this here would be 81 to the power of a half over 144 to the power of a half. And then this is x to the power of 1 over 3. Now negative 1 to the power of 1 over 3 is negative 1. Right? The third root of negative 1 is just negative 1. 64 to the power of 1 over 3, the third root of 64 is 4. Right? So this here simplifies to negative 1 over 4. And then this, 81 to the power of a half, that's the square root of 81, which is um, 9. 144 to the power of a half is just uh, 12. Square root of 144 is 12. And then this is x to the power of 1 over 3 still. Right? So it's already looking a lot better. So took both of these expressions, simplified them to this here. And then let's continue this up here. Um, this 9 over 12, that actually simplifies to 3 over 4. So we'll have negative 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4 is equal to x to the power of 1 over 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2, so 2 over 4 equals x to the power 1 over 3, which is equal to 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 is equal to x to the power of 1 over 3. Question is, how do we isolate for x here? What we can do is we can take both sides to the power of something where when you take the 1 over 3 and you multiply it by that exponent, it's going to equal 1. And what you use is always the reciprocal of that. So if you have x to the power of a rational exponent, you want to isolate for x. You take both sides to the power of the reciprocal of that exponent that's attached to the x. So the reciprocal would be 3 over 1, or just 3. right? So what we do to one side, we got to do to the other. And now 1 over 3 times 3, that's just 1. So we'd just be left with x to the power of 1, which is just x. Then 1 over 2 to the power of 3, that would be 1 over 3. Um, 1 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 3. 1 to the power of 3 is just 1. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So x is equal to 1 over 8. That is the final answer. Right? So going back to this here, whenever you have x to the power of a rational exponent, so for example, let's say that we had x to the power of 2 over 5 is equal to 7. Right? And we have to isolate for this x. We take both sides to the power of the reciprocal. So we take this to the power of 5 over 2, which is the reciprocal of 2 over 5, and then take this side to the power of 5 over 2. So then 2 over 5 times 5 over 2, that's just 1. Right? So we would end up having here x equals 7 to the power of 5 over 2, and this would be some kind of decimal number. So that's how you isolate for x whenever you have rational exponents that, you are, um, that you're working with. Actually, let me just leave that up there. Um, but yeah, anyway, 
final answer, 1 over 8. And uh, you can check your answer. So you can take all of this, um, plug it in your calculator, and you should end up getting the third root of x. The third root of 1 over 8 is just 1 over 2. So you should end up getting 1 over 2 when you plug that in. And that makes sense because negative 1 over 4 plus 9 over 12, that ends up giving you 2 over 4, which is 1 over 2. So that's what's nice about this chapter. There's a lot of opportunity for you to check your answers with your calculator.